टुडे टॉपिक इज एक्सटेंसिव रीडिंग वर्सेज इंटेंसिव रीडिंग बेसिकली द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज मैंट बाई एक्सटेंसिव एंड इंटेंसिव एक्सटेंसिव एंड इंटेंसिव रीडिंग रेफर टू अप्रोचेज टू लैंग्वेज लर्निंग एंड टीचिंग फ्राम देयर नेम्स यू कैन प्रोबेबली डिड्यूज दैट दे बोथ सेलिब्रेट रीडिंग एज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ लैंग्वेज लर्निंग where they differ however is in their approach to this activity then we discuss about extensive reading what is the main definition of extensive reading the main definition of extensive reading is extensive reading can essentially also be referred to as reading for joy this approach advocates reading as much material in your target language as a humanly possible this way its advocates claim you will be exposed to the widest range of vocabulary and grammatical structures all of this is supposed to make you a better language learner and help you on the way to fluency what is intensive reading now we will discuss about the main definition of intensive reading so the intensive reading is on the other hand focuses on closely following a shorter text doing exercises with it and learning it in detail according to this approach this helps intensive reading on the other hand focuses on closely following a shorter text doing exercises with it and learning it in detail according to this approach this helps language learners really understand the languages grammar and syntax the proponents of this method use a range of exercises to complement the reading itself now uh, for asian language students can for example read a short paragraph and then answer questions about the next order sentences or find specific words these these all details are about the intensive reading then we will discuss about the nature of in extensive reading what is extensive reading so we will discuss about the nature of extensive reading is extensive reading is a great tool for people who already enjoy the activity switching your reading into your target language will certainly expose you to much more vocabulary than you would normally learn the aim of this approach is not to look up every single unfamiliar word but to simply immerse yourself in your target language you can use context to figure out most of the words you don't know in a text and with extensive reading you don't exert yourself too much instead you can take joy in engaging with text that you can comfortably manage with extensive reading you can read material that does not challenge your comprehension too much since the idea is to simply subject yourself to as much of the written word as possible the nature of intensive reading now we will discuss about the nature of extensive reading before we discuss about the nature of extensive reading but now we discuss about the nature of intensive reading what is intensive reading the intensive reading however opens the doors of full understanding of a text you translate every word you don't understand think about the meaning of what was written and really engage with the text and its author while you are not exposed to as much new vocabulary as with the extensive reading the extensive style helps you truly understand the language this approach is also invaluable to those who do not enjoy reading so much as to take up extensive reading now the drawbacks uh, of extensive reading we will discuss we now discuss about the drawbacks of extensive reading while extensive reading is a great tool for those who enjoy reading it really does not work for those language learners who find the activity uh, tedious reading the text superficially will mean that you will certainly miss important details that would come in handy in in handy in learning your target language this is the what i want to say about the drawbacks of extensive reading reading the text superficially will mean that you will certainly miss important details that would come 
in handily in learning your target language the evidence behind how much this approach helps learners acquire new vocabulary is also dubious now we discuss about the drawbacks of intensive reading the drawback of intensive reading is the problems with extensive reading mostly have to do with the amount of concentration this approach requires since you are pretty much doing a word by word autopsy of the text the mental effort required for that will leave you exhausted after even a short period that means you can only de- dedicate a limited time for this activity and should also pick times when you feel mentally prepared it is suited for people who do not find reading enjoyable the close analysis of the text intensive reading requires can be tedious and boring for a lot of students now i conclude uh, i conclude about all this discussion and the conclusion is sadly you can often only find intensive reading thought in the foreign language classrooms this is perhaps understandable due to the time limit classes face but it is nonetheless a drawback some students might find reading more enjoyable than others the extensive reading approach should also be an option when learning a foreign language foreign language for learners would certainly see the best result with a combination of the extensive and intensive approaches now i would like to discuss about the difference between the intensive and extensive reading what is the uh, actually the difference between intensive and extensive reading so intensive and extensive are the major types of reading as their names suggest the basic difference between both these types of reading is the intention intention of the reader okay exactly uh, what i want to say that intensive and extensive are the major types of reading as their names suggest the basic difference between both these type of reading is the intention of the reader followings are the points about the difference between intensive and extensive reading now uh, i discuss uh, first about uh, the i firstly discuss about the points of extensive reading which is number one point is extensive reading is considered as being reading rapidly the readers read books after books its intention is paid to the meaning of the text itself not the language and the second point is the purpose of extensive reading is for pleasure and information and the third point is readers are more concerned with the meaning of the text than the meaning of individual words or sentence fourth point is reading of novels magazines newspapers sector are the example of extensive reading and the five fifth point is generally silent reading becomes the example of extensive reading sixth point is extensive reading is of large quantities of material or long texts because reading is individualized students choose the books by themselves what they want to read number 7 point is extensive reading means to read a lot of matter number 8 point which is the last point of extensive reading extensive reading means reading different books of similar ideas now i am discuss about the main points of intensive reading the first point is of intensive reading is intensive reading means that the reader take a text study it line by line and refer at very moment to the dictionary about the grammar of the text itself the, and the second point is the purpose of intensive reading is getting the literal meaning of the text third point is readers are also concerned with the meaning of individual words or sentences fourth point is reading of text books is the example of intensive reading fifth point is generally oral reading becomes the example of intensive reading fifth sixth point is intensive reading is usually a classroom oriented activity in which students focus on the linguistic or semantic details of a passage intensive reading calls students attention to grammatical forms discourse markers and other surface structure details for the purpose of understanding little meaning seventh point is intensive reading means that then that to read some matter very thoroughly and deeply eighth point is intensive reading means reading single book over and over to get its literal meaning now uh i uh, cover up uh, all the topic uh, first we discuss about the extensive reading and uh, then we discuss about the intensive reading and nature further we discuss about nature of extensive reading and the nature of intensive reading further we will discuss about drawbacks of extensive reading and drawbacks of intensive reading then we conclude about all the 
topic of uh, about the topic extensive reading and intensive reading then we discuss about the uh, intensive extensive difference difference between intensive reading and the extensive reading thank you please sh uh, do subscribe do like and do also comment